Oni. My name is GG. 25 September 2018. They give a prophecy in a nation, Africa and Zimbabwe. Economic challenge, deficit of crops, and shortage of food. Amen. 68 year old Juliet Makaza waits for her daily food ration. Her sick husband can't walk to the soup kitchen. That means bringing home something for him, too. Behind her is 75 year old Jimmy Banda. His wife died some years ago. His children are in South Africa looking for work. This ration of Zimbabwe staple food, Sadza, a porridge made from maize and vegetables, must feed him and his four grandchildren. I've been coming here for two weeks. At least I know my grandchildren and I have something to eat daily. This place must not close. There are lots of us struggling. The soup kitchen feeds on average 3,000 people a day. Samantha Morozoki started it when she saw families in the community going to bed hungry. She says a lot of older people who live alone are regulars. Some will tell you that their children have, uh, have, have died because of HIV and AIDS. And some will tell you that they went to South Africa and they never came back or remembered them. Uh, some will tell you that uh, he or she is there but doesn't do anything for me. So I have to make a plan for myself. Some of these pensioners had decent jobs and diligently saved for retirement. But decades of inflation in Zimbabwe wiped out their savings. Zimbabweans are facing their worst economic crisis in a decade. Soaring inflation, shortages of food, foreign currency and now the coronavirus has made things worse. We used to get assistance from uh, companies, uh, individuals, but because these individuals, companies, they are also find they are also facing financial challenges. They are they are therefore they also find it difficult. They are now finding it difficult to extend their hand to assist uh, the elderly. Old age homes receive a monthly grant from the state, and the government does give food and cash to vulnerable families in urban and rural areas, but it's not enough. According to the last government census done nearly 10 years ago, older people make up about 6% of the population in Zimbabwe and are some of the most neglected. The government said it's going to introduce a universal pension scheme for older people. With a struggling economy, it could be months or even years before that benefit is implemented. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Malfort, Zimbabwe.